Hey, how's it going guys? Zedai here. So, well, the leakers and rumors are true. Yes, indeed, that the PlayStation State of Play is happening on the September the 24th. Basically, well, tomorrow. This is information coming from PlayStation Blog. It is official. Let's read it through and check it out a little bit more. State of Play returns tomorrow. Just very simple. <laughs> so, State of Play is back tomorrow, September uh, the 24th. Tune in live for news and updates on more than 20 upcoming PS5 and PSVR 2 games from studios around the world. The 30 plus minutes show begins September the 24th at these designated times on YouTube and Twitch and will be broadcasted in English and Japanese. See you tomorrow. Well, very straightforward and also kind of... Well, interesting fact as well that they didn't actually held our expectations back. Yeah, interesting. And also, actually very big news that 20 plus games is going to be making an appearance on PlayStation 5 and PSVR 2. And yet also the showcase is going to be 30 plus minutes. Oh, honestly, this is going to be a big one. And I'm very much looking forward to see what they got in store. Now, honestly, we do know already quite a lot of games that are definitely going to get its presence here. As an example, one of the games that, well, maybe not a lot of people will be expecting, but I am expecting here, is a brand new Resident Evil game announcement. Maybe a little bit too optimistic on that front, but, you know, I just wanted to sprinkle it in here anyway. Now, we definitely can see here the Horizon Adventures, the LEGO game. <laughs> well, obviously, it's, uh, and I'm sure we're going to get a finally release date for that. And also, I'm confident that we will see Silent Hill 2 remake here. Perhaps maybe there's even a possibility of seeing Metal Gear um, remake. Uh, maybe you'll even get a release date as well. Presumably coming in, well, now coming in 2025 anyway. And yet also, I do expect to see Horizon Zero Dawn remastered because ESRB rating has been received. And uh, yeah, definitely, we should expect it. Maybe there's even a possibility that we could see Days Gone remastered here as well. But I don't think that would have been a good showing because imagine this. All your best games and titles that you have to go for has, in terms of the first party titles, <laughs> well, they're all remasters. That's not a good that's not exactly good news or much of confidence either. There is still is a possibility that they may go a little bit step further and maybe even showcase some of the games that will be coming down in like a little more further down in the future. But again, state of plays are not typically known doing that. But again, we were wrong a few times, mind you, as well. And so I'm not exactly holding my breath to see that we're going to be seeing biggest titles like Ghost of Tsushima 2 finally getting its teaser. I'm not really expecting that, but it will be a genuine nice surprise nevertheless. I am very much looking forward to the state of play, and you guys know it, I'm definitely going to be making a video about this. Uh, honestly, I'm actually considering even making a stream, you know, I'm just thinking about, should I make a stream video about this? Just, you know, have a live streaming as well. And of course, I'll make a video about my thoughts afterwards. So, yeah, hopefully it's going to be good, this state of play. Again, you know, state of play, they're not exactly the same thing as showcases, and so our expectations should not be going through the roof, as an example. Do not... <laughs> <laughs> Do not expect Grand Theft Auto 6 present here because I mean Rockstar they are very confident of just showcasing their own trailer on their own terms and whenever they feel like it they will do so and I honestly think this we'll still have to wait an additional two months at least until we see the second trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. But again, I could be wrong. A lot of people do not know a lot of things what's going what's going on behind background anyway. In terms of PlayStation, Rockstar, and just especially PlayStation, mind you. It's just they've been so radio silent, and yet there's just not much known for the future of PlayStation and doesn't give much confidence. And this state of play, this showcase, well, a little cl state of play anyway, it should give us a reason as well why in the world do we need to buy a PlayStation 5 Pro. If you can actually uh, turn our minds around and like, okay, this is worth it. Yes, I want to get this game specifically for the PlayStation 5 Pro. But if it doesn't do that, then I was like, I, I think it might be a little bit of a failure, in fact. Now, I'm not saying as if that everything hinders on just this particular game and so you could actually sell PlayStation 5 Pro units. No, I'm not saying that because, again... Over the time, perhaps maybe people that know that they want to pick up the Pro variant of the PlayStation 5, they're going to pick it up on day one. And of course, if you want to have a PlayStation 5 experience overall, the best idea is actually going for the regular PlayStation 5 instead. 
Nevertheless, guys, as all, I wanted to have a little bit of a discussion for today. I'm very much looking forward to this showcase. Yeah, again, I'll put that in air quotes. But, okay, i see you guys. i see you tomorrow. <laughs> like and subscribe. See you, and uh, yeah, have a good one.